Hi, Pod Kids. I've decided to hijack the Wake Up with Jim and Sab podcast. What you'll hear next is a snippet from my solo podcast, Finding Happy with Happy Dad. It's kind of weird on Spotify. Uh, it's kind of hard to search for, but just type in Finding Happy with Happy Dad. So again, this is just a snippet. There are six episodes there. Um, all the usual wake up guests are there, Cello, Kyle, and again, it, it's just really about you know not enjoying work and and how to find happiness. You know, it's not a podcast for fathers. <laughs> so hope you guys enjoy and share. Uh, tag me at Jim Bajaro on Instagram. Again, finding happy with Happy Dad. Thanks. If you're feeling lost, unfulfilled, and looking for any form of help, that's good. Welcome to the club. Welcome to finding happiness with Happy Dad. I spent my teens and 20s trying to find success. I grew up in a generation, a time, and an atmosphere of Go corporate or die. If you quit your job in six months, you die. If the company is in Coke or PNG, you die. I was a creative. I had a band. I liked music. I liked not following the rules in school or any social gathering. If the teacher said, make a straight up infomercial, a five-minute video on domestic violence. I was the student who made a 30-minute action movie with slow-motion sequences, explosions, cuss words, scored by Nirvana's Nevermind. I'd, I'd get a failing grade, but, you know, I felt happy. I moved from one phase to another. Uh, after college, I tried the rock and roll lifestyle begged my parents to give me a year off. Let me earn. So I did it. I did tours, recorded an album. I didn't find success. Instead of enjoying the three titas clapping at a mall show, I started to hate music. I started to count how much we made per gig. I started hating the thing I loved the most, and I became miserable. Uh, I took a leap into the corporate world. I took jobs in the country's top corporations. I always enjoyed the honeymoon, never the marriage. Somehow, after a few months of, oh, cool, I have a company car. Oh, cool, there's finally some structure in my life. Wow, this aircon is amazing. I'm not paying for it. Misery found its way back to my cubicle. The real turning point in my life was me coming home one day after a long day at work, telling my wife, my best friend, that I was unhappy. I told her, I just spent 12 hours at work sending emails making PowerPoint presentations for a company I didn't even like. Now, I get to be with you, enjoy dinner and a movie. But that's just three hours till I have to sleep and start dreading the next day. 